Hello viewers, welcome to Edim TV, a station where you watch, learn and interact. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. We are into, uh, in today's lesson, we are in Form 3, Lesson 3. And the topic is uh, Livestock Production 3. And the subtopic is the poultry reproductive system. And also, we will deal with the factors uh, to consider when selecting a breeding stock. On to the lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain, number one, functions of various parts of poultry reproductive system, and number two, highlight the factors considered when selecting a breeding uh, stock. Then we have uh, the uh, reproductive system of uh, poultry. An example of a poultry, we have a hen, and we ha it is made up of several parts. We have the ovary, uh, the ovary is responsible for the production of the ovum, or in other words, the yolk, the egg yolk. Then um, after the uh, production of the egg yolk, then the yolk is released to the, uh, to the infadibulum, that is the ovary funnel, uh, where fertilization takes place. Uh, where fertilization takes place, then uh, the fertilized yolk proceed to the that uh, to the second part that is the magnum, and at the magnum uh, that is where there is addition of the albumen. There is a protein that we refer to as albumen, where uh, the egg uh, stay for three hours. Then after that, the yolk uh, together with the albumen uh, continues to, uh, to move and it goes to the, the third section. And the third section we have the isthma. And at this point, uh, this is where there is addition of shell membrane. Uh, also water is added. Uh, without forgetting salt and vitamins. Uh, this, uh, at this point, the yolk stays for 15 minutes. Then it proceeds to the uterus. At the uterus, uh, there is addition of calcium and shell pigment. Remember, there are eggs which are, uh, looks like they have a white, white color, and the others ones, they have a, a pig uh, uh, blau brown color and therefore that uh, pigment is normally added at the uterus then the egg normally proceeds to the vagina where the at the vagina the egg temporarily stayed, stays here awaiting uh, for the, the the hen to lay uh, the egg or for the egg to be laid uh, through the uh, through the vent but the cloaca extend outward so that it can allow the egg to be laid uh, uh, properly without uh, breaking and therefore it extend outward to release the egg to the uh, to the nest to prevent uh, the egg from being uh, broken the eggshell from being broken then we have the factors to consider when selecting the breeding stock. Uh, we have several of them. The first one, we have the health. The animals which are supposed to be selected uh, as breeding stock uh, or to be used as future parents or to replace the future parents uh, should have good health. They are supposed to be healthy because it is the cost of production for a healthy animal is lower compared to a sick animal. Then we have the quality of product. The quality of product, as you can see, we have the beef here, we have the chicken meat, and also we have the egg and milk. They are supposed to be of high quality. Then we have the age. Uh, the animals which are supposed to be selected should be young because a young animal have a high reproductive uh, uh, time then a long reproductive time then also when it comes to a cow you can uh, decide to select a cow which has not parturated uh, more than three times and therefore they will have a longer reproductive uh, life uh, then we have the level of performance and as i say the level of performance i refer to the level of production those animals which are selected should be from uh, the appearance should have a high level of production uh, so that they can uh, in, uh, they can transfer those uh, genes to their offspring. Then we have uh, the 
the physical fitness the animal selected should not be limping or sh also should not be mono-eyed uh, because it can be a genetic disorder and therefore it can be transmitted to future generation then we have the sixth one we have body conformation for example if it is a dairy animal for example a cow it should be wedge in shape or triangular in shape what about if is a beef uh, animal for example a bull it should be blocky in shape as you can see well illustrated in the diagram there then the temperament that is the physical uh, behavior the animal selected should not be bully should not fight uh, people in the compound or also should not fight other people or other animals in the in the in the herd uh, therefore they should be of uh, good physical behavior they should be docile they should be calm then the other one we have mothering ability the animal selected should be in a position of taking good care of the young one and so you can see here there is a hen uh, which is uh, taking care of uh, chicks and also there is a cow there taking good care of the calf then prolificacy uh, this refer to the ability of giving as many uh, offspring as possible per time for example for pig uh, you should select those pigs which normally uh, give birth to so many many uh, piglets then we have uh, if for example another example is a rabbit you should select uh, rabbits uh, which are highly prolific then we have come to the end of today's lesson and I'm going to give you an assignment. The first question is, with a clearly labeled diagram, discuss the reproductive system of a poultry. The second question is, highlight the characteristic of good breeding stock in cattle. For reference, you can refer to Secondary Agriculture Student Book 3. The, re, uh, the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, you can reach us through the following addresses. The first one, we have SMS using the number which is well displayed for you. You can use the YouTube at LM TV and also for, uh, Facebook platform at LM TV. And finally, you can reach us through Twitter at LM TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Till next lesson. Bye-bye.